and living in other state but still your bonding the relationship the friendship the responsibilities the commitments of as a human being and you are rendering the beautiful service to the social activities kudos to all of you the telling about me is nothing i uh, i am from bangalore and i just ran an ngo for the physically challenged children uh, nothing special in that because i also sail on the same boat i know the pain what the other child uh, goes through maybe they are physically or mentally when we go through the physical pain and mental trauma even our parents cannot understand or experience our pain only they can sympathize that so the more and more physically pain we are to go the more and more mentally they are to go the pain that is the blessings of the almighty only thing is we wanted to give back to the society we are not here to change the entire world where we are not authenticated or uh, or authorized because each one of us having our own we have a living style we have our own responsibilities and commitments instead of changing or instead of gambling what others are not doing to us what government is not taking care of us what our parents or or uh, our, uh, our family or friends are not supporting us instead of gambling what we don't get from the world we we just wanted to do and change the a small world with what we have that's so what math foundation is up to we do take care of uh, the children who are like me or more western than me who are from really the rural area of our uh, state or our country most of my children are neglected by their own parents because in the village you know it's very common you know the child is born like a uh, born with the disability they feel that is a curse but it is not the child's pro- problem is it the such child we bring here we give shelter education and the medical assistance and we do search the placement for them and send them to the society and make them to stand on their own feet though they don't have that's only i can give back to the world because i am not here to change the entire world as i told you the second way i always feel that the world is so beautiful and just waiting to hug us only we have to change our spectacles that's all if we wear the scratch specs and look into the world your vision will be blurred so if you change your spectacles then no doubt at all we will we will flush our uh, uh, the inferiority complex the superiority complex the depression the loneliness what not you know i don't have uh, this in my life dictionary at all i only know the more and more failure you accept in your life the more and more you bend and accept your failure the more and more it makes you to stand steady and convert or win those failures into the achievements of success all my 33 surgeries were not uh, uh, successful I, i should say that almost 60 to 70% uh, were utterly failure but still i used to look up to the operation they the one or the other day i will walk because when i born i was so normal then i was attacked by this polio mite only my neck was functioning till i was 5 years old we we hail from very remote place from udupi that is bangalore my parents are not educated like you all my mother used to carry me on her shoulder for continuously for 2 years to the hospital to get me the electric shock treatment slowly my upper part of my body became all right i was admitted in the hospital when i was 3 year old in chennai and going all this 
surgeries and everything. When I came out, I was aching. So I never experienced the parental moment all. The beautiful mother's hugging, the father's kissing on her forehead, mother's feeding, blessing her, and all this small, small uh, childhood, uh, cherishable uh, moments, you know, memories and moments, I have never experienced. That's so why I want to give a motherly love to the children who really need the mother love. Not necessary that you should have your own child with it. If you have a big heart to give a mother love, the entire world will not have the, the motherless feeling at all. So a way, a small way I'm giving to the society, because each one of us have to give back to society, no matter what, when and where. Unless you have the goal in your life, nothing will work out at all and your life will be the sheer waste. The younger people like the this generation will run and leave the goal. The elderly people, they may walk and leave the goal. Of course, people like me may kneel and leave the goal. Ultimately, reaching the goal is very, very important in anybody's life. Otherwise, life will become the very sheer life. We have only one life. We get so much of, we make so much of penance and seven janams we take to get this beautiful human birth. That to being born as a woman and being born as a disabled, it's a God gift, you know. I always consider my disability is my God gift. And I'm a, I'm a gorgeous queen sitting on my chariot. I always feel that. Because until and unless you feel that you are happy, you feel that you are respected, you feel that you are beautiful, you cannot change the world at all. So unless you change yourself, the entire world look at you. No problem, no matter how much of a problem we have. As I told the society, the, the world is like a mirror, you know, it reflects our own images, you know. If you look into the so smiling, so aspiring, so hopefully, definitely it looks, looks at you and smile at you. I can really look at the mirror, no, no matter how much pain I have and I have no regrets about my past. It might have given so much of physical pain and mental trauma, but it has made me what I am today. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for the very inspirational uh, speech by you. Uh, you, are, you personify the statement, mind uh, over matter. You can really get deep in and find the strength within you. Thank you, Madam. I would once again call upon uh, uh, Mr. Babali, patron of uh, the Santhanam, uh, and also Mr. Suresh, the Vice President, to come onto the stage. I, I may I now request the Chief Guest, uh, Padma Shri Malati Hulla, to hand over, hand over the award to Mr. Babali and Mr. Suresh. Selected Sandram Seva Gandram for the prestigious Utista Seva Prasva. I firstly give our thanks and gratitude to the Art of Him for considering Sandram for this award. Last year, Sandram got to Guruji Seva Prasva. As we got inspiration from Seva Tharadi ideology, we are rendering Seva not to get an award, but the awards give some inspiration to us, of course. It stimulates all of us. Swamdhanam start its work on June 2006. 
it happened accidentally. This is to look after a patient who is chronic psychiatric problem. He is wandering in the streets for food and shelter. But all turned back their faces. On this occasion, Sebavardi workers joined together and planned to take over him. Then he was admitted in a mental hospital. There he got treatment for a long period and he slowly turned, returned into a normal life. The actual problem arises thereafter, where he is accommodated and how he is looked after. We approached Seva Paradi for a suitable place to accommodate him. But they said that in Kerala, Seva Paradi has no center for accommodating mentally challenged person. They told us that you will start a center in such a nature. Jannabhumi Managing Director Manya Radha Krishnan Chan also gave some inspiration to us. With their blessings and the guidelines, we started Swandhanam Seva Gendram on June 2006. In the initial days, we faced so many difficulties. We have no past experience in this field. No help from experienced patients, no money. No one is ready to work for a petty salary. To overcome this crisis, each of Seva Paradi workers perform duties in each day and bring food from their own houses. This routine work continued for an year. Then so many mentally challenged people come to the center from different parts of Kerala. After the treatment, some are rehabilitated in their house. All are given good medical treatment with the help of private hospital. Gradually, the center is developing in a step sustainable condition. The villages also come forward to help the center. Now the center has 25 inmates. All are mentally challenged and old age. There are so many applications coming for accommodation and help, but there was no place in the system building. So we construct a new building. The work is in progress. The multi-store building under construction wanted an additional amount of this one road to complete the work. We expect that it is possible with the help of services and society. They give formidable support to us till the days. In addition to this work, the center has rendered in so many other seva activities also. It gives medical aid to kidney and other chronic disease patients. It gives wheelchair to physically handicapped, handicapped patients. It gives educational assistance to poor child, children. It gives food and amenities to poor families. In addition to this, a Goshala is also running in the center. Fertilizers and pesticide-free vegetables also cultivated in the field with the help of inmates. Horticulture therapy is very helpful to improve their mental and soundness. Sandhanam Sivagandram got registration from Social Welfare Department of Kerala States. I submitted in front of you a brief caricature of our activities. Once more, I give a lot of thanks all of you. Thank you.